Hey, I'm Rachel Starr, and uh, a lot of people have been asking for an update on how I've been since the electroconvulsive therapy. I don't think people realize I really do updates because a lot of people keep asking how am I doing, and they're asking on the very first video. But um, let's see, it's been over two years, one year, two years. I kind of lost count, but um, most like most things people ask about is the brain damage and reading the writing. Reading is still like a pain when people like when I, I, like, I can't read a book or anything. But uh, magazine articles, as long as it's not, like all text and has some pretty pictures, um, writing's doing okay, I guess. I can't write like I used to. I can, you know, I don't know. That comes and goes. But uh, doing all right. Uh, hallucinations have been. Um, Hallucinations, uh, I actually just moved to New York from Charlotte, mostly because uh, I couldn't get a job in Charlotte. So, moved up here looking for work, you know, not exactly going great on that. But um, I've gotten a couple gigs, which is more than I was doing in Charlotte. So. Uh, but I think just with the stress of all that, it's kind of knocked my hallucinations up a little bit. Uh, more than movement hallucinations, like I'll be walking at, uh, at a, say, coming back from work or something, and the room will do the, or the street, I guess. Do the tilt thing, which kind of freaked me out because I don't worry about like losing my balance and falling into the street. And uh, it's weird because I haven't had those conversations in a really long time. Um, but uh, my creativity, a lot of people like worry about that. It's actually up a lot. I've been a, you know, and I guess being in New York, we have more opportunities to do things. I don't know. Uh, I'm very homesick. <laughs> I miss my little dog. Twinkle couldn't come up here to New York with me right now. And of course, my family. So, uh, there's that. But yeah, you know, we're just gonna yeah, keep uh, working. But like I said, in New York City now, so a little, it's been rough, and I think that's kind of hampered a lot of things. And uh, I don't really have internet here, which is insane. I was supposed to when I got the apartment, and um, or I'm, I'm like renting a room from someone, and that just did not turn out well. Uh, things weren't as they were supposed to. And uh, so I don't really have internet, it comes and goes, and that's a big problem obviously for my work, which is mostly on the internet. And the fact that, you know, my writing and my reading and writing comes and goes, so times when I can read and write well, and it's like send emails, I can't because I can't get online, and then other times I'm able to get online, and then, you know, those are the times, of course, that I have the opportunity that uh, I can't seem to focus in. So, we're supporting my little New York had I bought for five dollars um, but uh, I wouldn't say I'm enjoying <laughs> the change but it is pretty amazing if you think about a schizophrenic and you know the brain damage I had being able to move up here not really I mean on my own pretty much yeah and uh, survive <laughs> I mean we're going on two weeks but uh, and I may fail and have to come back home in like the end of the month that might be wonderful because I am the sick twinkle but uh, I think in general though from where I was, from where I've come from, I guess, that's a big deal because I wasn't able to do a lot of things on my own. And moving up to a place where I don't have my support system, my family, which is so very important, uh, that's, you know, that's definitely, it's been hard. Um, so, yeah, I know a lot of people keep asking me questions about the ECT and things, and so please don't take offense when I, like, don't answer. It take, like, five months to answer your question. I know that's not very helpful. It's just kind of, like I said, the reading and writing comes and goes. So a lot of times I'll, like, see the questions, but I won't really be able to respond. But, I don't know. Like I said, as always, ECT, or electroconvulsive therapy, electroshock, worked wonders on me. It's been a rough, rough road, and I'm... 25 years old trying to get a full-time job and you know we're, we're still searching okay we're still working on that but yeah I don't know thanks for watching and